really, what do y'all think? Do you think that Brian is alive? Okay. Yes. Do you think he's in that reserve? Why is the FBI no. still searching there? What do they know that we don't know? They have to know something for the reason why he is still there. Unless they just want to make it look like they're doing something because they don't know. I don't know. But it's so weird because the police that is down there at in the county that Brian and his family live in, they released a statement in the very beginning and said they knew exactly where Brian Laundrie was. And then come to find out they never, ever put their eyes on Brian. Also come to find out it is said... Brian Laundrie's lawyer, it is said that he hasn't even seen Brian since he's been back, that he talked to him on the phone. Nobody has laid eyes on Brian other than his parents and his sister and her husband and her two kids the night they went to the campgrounds and when they stopped by the house. And that's another thing, too. I know that I did that video on his sister. Since then, she has come out and she has spoke. She did say that her parents are not talking to her either, mm -hmm. which why would you not talk to your daughter unless you know stuff and you don't want to jeopardize your son by, by talking to your daughter and you don't want to jeopardize your daughter and put her in a position where she's got to be questioned and have to tell too. So I kind of get it, but it also makes me truly believe that Brian's parents know they know more stuff. And right. you know what? They don't have to say anything because they're lawyered up. Everything has to go through the lawyer right now. So, and then also with Brian Laundrie's sister, she said... I think, honestly, man, uh, here's my thing. I have seen so many cases now where police screwed up so many things and covered them up. And then they... Get a lawyer. Don't talk to police. I swear, I swear by God. <clears throat> I used to feel like different and say, so I honestly cannot even blame these people. I can blame them for many things, but this with a lawyer, man, 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 man. You don't want to put your fate into the hands of a police department that may not be... You know what I mean? Don't talk more than you have to. I hate to say it, but, um, you know, there's a... The, 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 don't have faith in random people, man. Unless your intuition really tells you. And still then, make sure it's not wishful thinking. Because I think a lot of times, we as arch negative people, you see, there is a wishful thinking aspect in life. And I need to make sure I... I, I state this properly there is you see dumb people will always put you on a spot and say you're dumb to believe in this but the reality is that you can be highly intelligent I guess relative to the population and um, you make errors that show an emotional black hole inside of you. you know. Would you say Anthony Weiner was a stupid man overall? But there are things inside of us stronger that we can get manipulated by. And so... When they went to the campgrounds that night on September 6th, they only stayed about six hours. They came there, they had dinner, and then they left because the kids had school the next day. It's obvious that they talked about Gabby. There is no way that her two kids who called Gabby Aunt Gabby, and if you guys, you know, listen to her speak and you guys know the story, Gabby, while they were, while Brian and Gabby were gone, Gabby would send postcards to the kids and they would FaceTime the kids like, Brian Laundrie's sister, Cassie, her two kids loved Gabby, okay? There's no way that they showed up at that campgrounds and they saw Brian and they did not ask where their Aunt Gabby was. However, Cassie did say there are some things that she talked to the FBI about that she cannot tell the public. And I believe there is things that she has told them 
that we don't know, which is a good thing. I'm glad she's talking to them, and I hope that she's telling the truth. But it just makes it even more clear to me that if her parents are not even talking to her, they know stuff. They, they know stuff. And I do... I have to say, she is the one person out of all these channels that I know about crime where there are so many terrible ones and so many bad guesses, but she gets it. Also about the Sherry um, Pepini case, you know, she gets it, this lady. I wonder with Cassie, I wonder if she feels like her parents are choosing her brother over her, you know, like she's the good kid right now. She's the one that's, you know, living at home, taking care of her kids, going to work and not like killing people <laughs> or the very least like <laughs> leaving her spouse across the country alone with no credit card or debit card, no cell phone. I mean, at the very, very, very least, we know that Brian left Gabby across the country, took her truck, took her debit card, and took her phone. Okay? At the very least. I mean, we all pretty much figure we know he's the one that did it, but we know for sure he did those things. Like, what kind of punk does that? You know, like how how terrible. And then you got Cassie who can't even talk to her. her children, can't even see their grandparents because they're too busy over here taking up for their son who dang near probably killed somebody. That's got to make Cassie feel some type of way. I mean, that's her parents. I'm sure she loves them. But dang, you know, like it's got to make her feel bad. So at the end of this, what do I think now? As far as Brian, where do I think he is? Where do you think he is? Let me know. I still think he's in somebody's house. Me I could too. be wrong. I do hope that he's me alive. Too. I do not. I hope he hasn't hurt himself. I know that's a possibility, but I hope that he hasn't. I think he is in somebody's house. I think that that reserve probably doesn't have any cameras. That's probably why they went there because he has been there before. So he would know. I think that's why they left the car there because there's no cameras. I think they either have a friend, the parents, Brian Laundrie's parents, that's or the lawyer. retired and ain't got nothing else to do and is going to let him stay at the house. Or maybe Brian Laundrie's parents own other properties. They could, they could have other houses. Brian Laundrie could literally be in a house by himself ordering takeout and groceries delivered this whole time and nobody would know it. Think about it. This is 2021 with COVID, the whole situation, he could get pizzas, Uber Eats, DoorDash, all that delivered to his door, and he don't even got to open his door. You wouldn't even know it. All y'all delivery drivers, you wouldn't even know it. You could be delivering it to him. You know what I'm saying? He could get his Walmart groceries delivered right there at the front door, and nobody would even know it. So that's what I think. I think he's hiding out in a house somewhere. I don't think he's in the Appalachian Trail. Mm -hmm. I do not think he's in the reserve. But I could be wrong, you know. Could be I'm right. not a specialist. I'm not a professional. I'm just a, a, a woman with a camera and a phone sometimes. I'm filming on my phone right now, talking to my friends on the Internet. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Sending all of our love. All right, I guess I go back to the Basque people now. Um I like it when, you know, look, man, I mean, I cannot, it's for me... There are only very few channels that I actually pay attention to. Very few. That I can't even listen to. And I find it strange that, you know, she talked about her mom has been on the run for 30 years, 34 years from the law. Wow. I tell you what. Um, it's crazy how... I see arch negative people from so many walks of life and so many different backgrounds and so many different types of upbringings but such a you know this our spirit is just there you know what I mean when it comes to even if we done wrong in life whatever there is the the sense the sensitivity is there and we don't have an easy time lying to ourselves right it seems it's easy for most people to really lie to themselves to the point where they actually believe it. I think it's not for us. I think the, the whole thing 
that uh, I don't even want to talk about the what's it called the um, so-called um, the so-called oh my god what happened upload failed Jesus Christ yeah I accidentally deleted this video while I uploaded it wow what an idiot let me see how to do this um, these people yeah I find it absolutely amazing when people are um, similar to me Oh, that's the mask thing. Let me see. I gotta upload this crap, huh? Oh, yeah. Five minutes and 50 seconds. I got that one. What else is here? Clean up your storage. Wow. What the hell, man? What do you mean clean up my storage? Android system. Okay, one moment. Okay, thank you for watching. I just did a major clean up stuff on my other video. On my other channel. On my other phone. What should I talk about? Nothing. <laughs>